Good morning, modern steaders. We get to do something this morning we haven't done in five or six months. Any guesses what that would be? Good morning, pigs. Good morning, crazy white chicken. Good morning, Willow. What? I separated Willow from the babies last night. We're gonna milk her this morning, guys. Let's see how the babies are doing. They're all sleeping in the corner, doing just good. Yeah, I'm gonna be right there, Willow. Let's get some feed out here for the other girls. Now we can get set up for Willow. Let's see if the little goats want to go outside this morning while we milk Willow. They might want to come out and play. You want to come out and play? I'm going to let mom out in a few minutes. I got to milk. They're like, where's mom? Willow, you ready to milk? She's like, I know you're gonna do, you want to milk. That's right. Willow does not like to stand for milking. At least she never used to like to, so we'll see how she is this year. Oh, her udder is full, guys. So exciting. <laughs> never like this last year we bought willow and brought her home when her when uh, buttercup was eight weeks old and she'd never been hand milked she'd always just been milked by the kids and I was told that that's not gonna get them into their best milk production The nice thing about starting milking young is we'll help Willow's milk production get up. And if we don't get all the milk out right now, it's all right. The babies are going to finish milking for us. Hey, stand. We got a good amount of milk, guys. Willow has. Plenty more milk in there for the babies. So we're gonna let her go back. You want your babies? Come on, go see your babies. They're outside waiting for you. I come outside looking for you and your babies and you go in. All the little kids are like, it's my turn. We're thirsty. Today we only took a small amount from Willow. We got enough for tomorrow morning's coffee. Got just over a cup of milk. You milked Willow today? I did. That felt good milking again, but I gotta get my muscle in shape for that, man. You wouldn't think that milking uses that much of a muscle in your arm and forearm. It sure does. And, Mil and Willow's got to get used to milking again and staying still in the milking stand. We'll get there. You guys ready to come forward? Oh, there goes the crazy white chicken and Tanner. Tanner, this way! There you go, bring her back, bring her back!
You're supposed to fly in there, CWC. Oh, crazy white chicken. I'll lift that up for you. Go ahead. Get under. Go ahead. No? All right. You're going to stay out here then. You guys seem hungry this morning. What about you, CWC? Coming in? You're not coming in? <laughs> Float out to the house. Oh, the goats need some hay. I know, I forgot to bring your hay down earlier. What the heck? I hear ya. Hope don't care, she's standing in the hay feeder waiting. There you go. Are you and Hope becoming friends there, Buttercup? How was it last night with Willow sleeping with you girls? Huh? Look at the four of you. I feel somebody nibbling on my pants. It must be Hope. It must be Hope. We had this gravel pad all leveled out and then we took a like steamroller over it. And I think what ended up happening is we went this direction so we ended up pushing some of the gravel up on this end. So this end's a little bit higher. I gotta rake it down a smidge and then we'll be good to go. I don't know how good you can see them, but I have some pink strings running across the forms. And I'm taking my tape measure here and I'm measuring to see if I got the depth I want. I'm shooting for six inches all the way across in the center of the slab. And then on the footing edges, I'm looking for 12 inches deep. That's why I'm shoveling it out right there. We compacted down the gravel bed so it's almost as hard as concrete so it's nice having a little Kubota tractor I can break up the high edge it makes it a lot easier to rake it out afterwards there's a couple reasons for making sure the whole pad is the same thickness that way you know you get a good strong floor but also when I'm trying to figure out how much concrete I need if I have the same thickness or depth across the whole slab, I can figure out and have a lot more accurate figure for how many yards of concrete I'm going to need to order.
to get the forms all backfilled. I'm all done backfilling around the forms. Now I ran a string down the edge. I don't know how good you can see it, the pink one. See down there, kinda, I'm not sure if that's from me backfilling with the tractor that I bumped it, or if it's just the board. But I wanna go and I strung all the lines. I strung all the corners, those are all straight. I fixed them a little bit. This is the worst one, right? I don't know how good you guys can see it. But this board goes off. Uh, about half an inch right here. So we're gonna pull that back and I picked up some more stakes. I'm using duplex nails, they have a double head. Makes them easy to pull out after. I dug out the sand a little bit. I'm gonna take my bar at an angle. Straighten that up good. I'll put one here. I'll do another one down there. That one goes too. on the line I like it all the forms are nice and straight I gotta go back in and just clean out the trenches this right here is a foot deep all the way around a foot wide and that's gonna be our footing for the slab so I gotta clean that out a little bit and then we're ready for the concrete tomorrow you're crazy girl you're a crazy goat You two fighting over the hay, huh? This is it right here, guys. Goat's milk in your coffee. Oh, doesn't get much better than this. I've been waiting six months for this. Ah, oh, so good, so good. Life is back to normal now. 
You girls behaving yourself? I bet you are. Maybe not. You crazy. Maybe she will now. <laughs> You're crazy little pea, hopping on top of your mama. What are we gonna do with you, huh? I need, I need the other block. He was so full of it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at her. <laughs> non stop on Mama's back, huh? Non stop. What do you want, huh? Say now, little P's gonna have to make her way over. She can't let Magnolia have all the attention. You do. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to use one foot. That doesn't work out very well then. Why do you guys all like my sweatshirt? I'm bleach hand. What do you think that is? A kid's hands washing station? Yeah. Oh. One for each hand? Yeah, we need some soap. A soap dispenser right here. Need some soap? Yeah. You're crazy. And they're off. Oh, they're chasing a chicken. Go! Nice egg that one of the well summers laid. I like it. Oh, both the well summers laid today. Our Easter egg layers, which lay the green eggs, have been the ones that have been slowing up lately. So my guess is the crazy white chicken, she's an Easter egg layer. She must be laying her eggs in the pig pen. I'll have to check sometime. I'm gonna plant some tomatoes in the greenhouse. All right, let's see if we can lift these up. Cherokee purple, does that mean this is Cherokee purple? Oh no, that one fell over. Which one? Oh, it broke off. That's, Which one? No, did it break? Oh, that's sad. Oh, no. All right, here. Oh yay. Be careful because I, I don't have to carry that. This is the workout. It is? Something. I just want to like put the containers in there too? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to see how I can get this in there. So we can use one of these to put in, what? Like one of these stakes to put Leaning. That way. So maybe if I put this soup like right next to you, like right. Oh no. Yeah, look at the roots coming out for the big soil rocks. Can I fit two more in there? 
Yeah, and then we'll There's be more, done. I can scoot them over a little bit. I guess they're going to scoot it. Okay, this is our transplants. Well, they're not really transplants. These are the soil blocks we put into the boxes. We tried growing the tomatoes in the greenhouse. Thing we made out of the old chicken tractor. So I used some of the compost that we have from our animals. And also we had some leftover lobster compost. So I used that in here. I don't know if that would have been al approved, but that's what we did. And it was easier for me to carry it over when he wasn't home. And it got really buggy, so we're done for the night. But we'll see how it goes. They look good. Lucid Gem over here. And Cherokee Purple over here. And we have a bunch in the greenhouse. This one was in the greenhouse and it had broken over. Um, we'll leave it in here a little bit and see if we can get it to come back to life. Probably not. Mrs. Stouffer's ain't got nothing on this. Reheat some lasagna for dinner tonight. I got the core to go with the lasagna. But you have all the sauerkraut fun. One of the things that's really nice about cooking big home cooked meals is days like today when there's a lot going on, at the end of the day if you have cooked up a big meal and saved the leftovers, you get to have a good meal still and not take all the time of cooking. You just got put it in the oven and reheat it. There was one point when Gina was walking into the outdoor kitchen. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I had dug out like a little apron area today at one point. I forgot to have the camera running while I was doing that. But that's so when the concrete truck comes to deliver the concrete, if we have any left over concrete, we'll have a place to put it and we don't just have to dump it on the ground somewhere. We'll be able to have a nice little footing or apron, whatever you'd like to call it, in front of the outdoor kitchen. It has been a crazy busy day today. Some of the stuff I wasn't able to get on camera, like having to go back and fix the forms, but... It was a great day, a lot of work, and it's going to be worth it all in the end. Just want a little couple of words of encouragement. If you guys want something, go after it. You might not get there as quick as you want, but it's going to be worth it in the end, even if it takes more time. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, life sufficiency, and freedom.